again and to keep you updated on um, what's going on because I remember some time ago telling you about that China is producing fake silver and is now circulating. My wife and I were at the gun show and at the gun show uh, there were some people selling silver there and of course you know I didn't have my scale with me but I picked up this silver right here and I said man this sound you know this feels kind of light here for a second but I'm going to purchase it anyway just to set a point because you know you know you understand what I mean because I sit up there and I hold silver all the time and so I can pretty much tell almost by weight with now you know I'm not that much of an expert but I can pretty much tell when something's off so what I have here is I have a and my weight I 1200 scale right here it weighs grams ounces pounds and troy ounces and it goes on but we're interested in the troy ounces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's set we're going to cut it off and then we're going to cut it back on again to make sure that it resets and it'll count down from 10 this is a very nice scale very nice digital scale okay now what we have here we're going to start off here is we got a 1.5 year old Republic All Strike of Weiner Field Harmonic and we're gonna see what it weighs in by this scale right here this is a digital scale okay it comes in uh, 1.110 so that's pretty good alright then next we're gonna go to the Canadian Maple Leaf this is a 2010 Canadian Maple Leaf so we're gonna see and it has four nines on it all right, 1.005, so it's still over one ounce, all right, one troy ounce. Next, we're going to go to a 2011 American Silver Eagle, a 2011 American Silver Eagle, all right, and we're going to see what it weighs in at, okay. one point zero zero five same as the Canadian Maple Leaf alright then next we're going to go to the Royal Silver Company 2010 and this one actually has five nines on it has like a little bobcat on the back of it alright this is probably the most pure silver or you know silver coin I've had so here we go we're going to put it down see what we got it comes in at 1.005 alright troy ounces okay now we're gonna get now into the um, Chinese coins alright we have a 2010 and I'm gonna show you the back of it Chinese Panda this is a 2010 Chinese Panda alright watch very closely I want you to see that this coin is a 2010 Chinese pandas never been touched by hands. I'm the first one to do it. All right, now watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna put it down on the scale. Now the pandas usually come in at a little less, but this one is spot on at 1.000 troy ounces. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do. Now I have a. Watch this. A 2003. A 2003. Chinese panda, except this one has a little gold on the front of it. Okay, so let's see what this thing comes in at. Seven zero point seven zero five. So there's something wrong with this coin because it is a whole three grams short, or maybe three three. I wouldn't say three ounces, but it's very short of one troy ounce. 
Let's go to a 2001. Now these are the ones that I picked up that I had questions about. Here's Chinese Panda. It's 2001. Again, this one has a one ounce, .999 on it. Chinese Panda, 2001. Watch this one. It weighs even less than the 2003. All right. Now there's something wrong. This cannot be real silver. No way. No way about it. All right. The last one is we have a 2005 Chinese Panda. All right. 2005 Chinese Panda. Okay, .999 it says on there. 2005. Let's see what this weighs in at. 0 0.695. Okay, so you see we have three coins right here. And all three of them come from, or at least they say that they're made in China. And I have very serious doubts that these three are real silver. Very serious doubts. As far as this 2010 Chinese pen, I believe that that is. I believe that the Royal Silver Company is. And the um, American Silver Eagle, the Canadian Maple Leaf, and the um, Weiner Philharmoniker. Also, all four of those, or five of those, weighed out just fine. But these three Chinese pandas right here, they're in serious questions and doubts. So, we told you some time ago that the fake silver is out there and we just giving you proof that it's there. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straight away. So you make sure you keep your eyes out. And by all means, you can buy scales on eBay, different places. for well, $15, $20, $30, this scale is a little over $100. Um, but it would behoove you if you ever go out and buy any kind of metals from this point on. Uh, because they're getting very, very smart nowadays and very deceptive. Have a scale with you. That is my advice. All right. See you later.